Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here, and welcome to my 70k Q&A, my first official Q&A on my channel as well. You know, basically 95% of YouTubers do these, so I thought I might as well do my first official one. And if you enjoy this, um, if you like it, me answering questions, uh, answering your guys' questions, I might do them every time I hit like the next 5k uh, on my subs or something like that, but I've got to think how my channel will grow in the future, if that will be regular or not, uh, we'll have to see, uh, and I do just have some ultimate team in the background, not my best game, uh, but you're going to see some goals at the least, but more importantly, uh, to answer your question, so we'll head into the first one. So the first question is from the FIFA Project, he says, hey footy, do you have any tips on growing a channel, because I also provide FM content, and I just want my channel to be like yours, with all the support, etc. It would be great if you replied. So, uh, basically, my biggest tip is to enjoy what you do. That is a huge thing, and you seem to be on the right path like I did as well uh, with your name, The FIFA Project, and doing FM content. I find you'll be able to grow your channel really, really well that way because you have a variation of content. Doing FIFA and Football Manager, uh, that's what I base my channel around since FIFA 13 here. I started with FM content, though, in FM 12, uh, that seems a long way back, but yeah, just to be consistent, uh, that was my greatest experience in YouTube to grow. Uh, just keep uploading content, and this might be one some people might not think is a good suggestion, uh, but for me, doing a lot of series, because if you notice in your series, or in any one series really, uh, just a general thing on YouTube, the first couple episodes, especially the first one, uh, first two at least, get way more views and likes everything ever, and everything like that. Uh, then the rest of the series, as the series goes on 20 episodes or whatever, it doesn't get the same amount of views and likes as the first couple do. So that was kind of my method to do a lot of series, even though it kind of turned out people thought it was bad doing a lot of series. But at the end of the day, it keeps subscribers coming into my channel. So it works both ways like that. So the second question here is from Cheeky Ninja. I think his name is, he goes on to ask, I thought FM was your job or do you have another job? Because the rest of us work 9 to 5 every day, uh, which I think is an incorrect statement because I have a lot of younger viewers, so probably you could add school in that, but most places, uh, most schools be 9 to 3, but either way, still the same points. And yeah, it goes on to say, and I'm sure you don't spend that amount of time on your videos every day. Um, don't use not having time as an excuse uh, when it's your job, so... Uh, obviously, I'm being followed by Big Brother. Were you there at the time of you, Big Brother? I don't think so. <laughs> he knows what I do every single day, but nah. Um, in all seriousness, this was an official comment on a Q&A video. This was just in one of my videos uh, when I said I've been really busy of late. And yeah, I do actually have a job, and I do go to uni studying. So I'm doing that full-time, both those together, along with YouTube, still uploading daily. Normally, I upload... Uh, at least two videos a day as well, so multiple uploads. So, yeah, this is more, this question for me to answer, because there's 12 likes on the comment for some reason as well. I could talk about the Google Plus and comments, uh, Google Plus, but, yeah, that's a whole different story as a embarrassing penalty is going to come up. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to let you know, because uh, this opportunity uh, in this Q&A is an opportunity for me to let you guys know more, so I don't have to keep answering questions in videos, replying to people. You can just come to this video, and I can say that. And there it is from Ronaldo. It wasn't a terrible penalty. They just didn't move the goalkeeper. But anyway... Uh, yeah, I do work. I don't want to give away too many personal details, but I do go to work and I do study, uh, at least until I can do YouTube full time, which I'm, I hopefully will do. That's my main kind of goal. Uh, 100k subscribers, like when Fever 16 hits, I reckon, yeah, later in this year, it's still this year. <laughs> it's crazy. Fever 16, uh, it's not too far away because this year is going quick already. It's June already. That's crazy. It only felt like yesterday it was New Year's. So yeah, Fever 16 will come quickly. But to the point, uh, on that, yeah, I do actually work hard on YouTube. I love making videos, and uh, I wouldn't be using that as an excuse, most definitely. And hopefully, I can be able to do it 9 to 5. And some days, uh, when I am home, I do work that long. Like I said, um, there's this big... I just want to say this as well. There's this big kind of... Uh, thought that YouTubers, especially gaming YouTubers do gaming, that they are fat and they stay home and do nothing all day, which is not the case. I definitely don't um, do not do that. I find it funny when people say that, like about me especially, because I like go gym most days as well, stay fit, that's yeah, important to keep healthy as well, and yeah, go out, see friends and everything like that. I do so many things, so yeah, that's why sometimes, yeah, my 
time maybe cut out for making YouTube videos because I'm doing a lot of other stuff in my life and hopefully, yeah, this video or at least, yeah, this comment, uh, this question and my answer will be able to make you understand that. So the next question here is from Daniel Beek. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, uh, but his question is, please don't take this in a harsh way. I think you're a really great YouTuber. Well, thanks, <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. Uh, do you think you have some fake subs uh, you get from 1 to 5K views per video and have 70K subs? Again, I really enjoy your content, so don't take this harshly. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I don't really take yeah, comments too harshly, but this is a, this actually, this is a good question. Uh, this is a question I'd want to answer. Uh, this thing with YouTube, uh, there's probably a couple points here. Uh, if you've done YouTube for a long time, uh, for me now, almost hitting three years, maybe someone who did subscribe three years ago or even two years ago, they don't watch YouTube videos anymore. Maybe they used to watch back when they're in school and they finish school now and work and they have a family, just all that kind of stuff together. They just simply don't have the time. Uh, that is one thing and you look at any youtuber there is out there every single subscriber doesn't watch their videos like you look at someone have a hundred thousand subscribers they don't get a hundred views on a video they may get half of that or even less than half of it. they may get thirty thousand or twenty thousand they never get the exact amounts and even PewDiePie uh, he has <laughs> I don't even know how much he has now he has a crazy amount but he probably gets what is like 5 million every video. I haven't really, you yeah, haven't really watched his videos too much lately. Uh, but yeah, and that is definitely less than half. So you look at most YouTubers and they get less than half views uh, than they do have subscribers. So yeah, I don't think I have fake subscribers and it's that time of the year in FIFA as well. And we're very lucky to not concede there. Uh, yeah, especially the downtime in FIFA. When FIFA 16 hits, and FM16 as well, you should see my views, uh, yeah, getting back up there, hopefully at least 10,000 per video. So next question here from Jack Garrett asks, what kind of music do you listen to and favorite musical artists? And this is something with a person, you know, you can get their personality kind of uh, from the music they listen to, uh, for most people anyway, and I generally listen to heavier music than most people listen to uh, like metalcore bands. There's a lot of different genres that can go around for those kind of bands, you know. Uh, but for the majority of you guys from UK, uh, throw out a couple of UK bands out there like Bring Me The Horizon and Asking Alexandria. Uh, there are two that you may know of if you like that kind of music as well if you're from the UK, even if you're not from the UK, but I thought I might as well. You might know of them even if you don't listen to that music if you're from UK. Uh, but then a uh, whole host of other bands that are less popular and even other popular ones is, yeah, I listen to a crazy amount. Uh, but there's days I like to listen to maybe some R&B, something like that. So moving on to the next question now that is asked from Cameron Lee. He says, will you do in real life vids? And this is something to talk about. This is something I've thought about a lot, to be honest. I love watching real life videos. I love watching people just go ask weird questions to the public. And yeah, those kind of public videos, you know. Uh, but for that, I'd probably have to do face cam consistently on my channel. Uh, I wouldn't just surprisingly out of nowhere <laughs> do a in real life video uh, yeah, asking questions to the public. But I love watching those videos. And yeah, when I do watch them, I'm like... I have a YouTube channel. I could do something like this. I'd have interest, but then I've got to think what my channel is like. It's not about that. But I could see myself doing that if the situation yeah, came up and there was an interest for that. But the thing is, yeah, my channel is not based around something like that. My channel is not really based around comedy or something like that, uh, trying to make people laugh. It's about... Uh, being informative in my career modes, uh, both career mode and football manager saves. And I might do ultimate team every so often, but yeah, that's not the style of my videos, even though I could see myself doing that. That's all I've been yeah, tossing around uh, in my head like with ideas. Um, there's ideas that I think I could do, but it doesn't mean I should do them if that makes sense. I've got to do yeah what my channel is based around and what I've grown this channel to be, you know. So hopefully that answers that question uh, well. I would love to do real life videos, uh, but I got to see. Yeah, this channel is not really based around that, uh, unfortunately. Okay, next up we have a question from Mikkel Jagannath, and it's oh no, it's one of those. It's one of those questions. Would you rather have sex with Susan Boyle? I cringe even just saying that. Or a raped by? Uh, I think he means get raped by a what? A dolphin chimpanzee? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Well, okay. 
I think I'm going to have to choose to get raped by a dolphin chimpanzee because if I have sex with Susan Boyle, I'm going to have to burn my dick. So next question is asked by Quandiac Jr. And he says, how many subs do you think you'll have at the end of the year? Nice question. Of course, I'm at 70k right now and obviously anticipating the bump in subs. I will get and most people will get at the start of FIFA 16 and FM 16 as well where it's less prominent though uh, it's still there but FIFA 16 at the start yeah all the if you're a decent sized channel you'll start to grow a lot and even if you're a smaller channel if you're wondering about that um, I would definitely suggest you yeah to get the early release of FIFA 16 do a career mode uh, with a big team I did Manchester United this year uh, in FIFA 15 and I got a thousand subscribers a day for about a week and that was amazing to yeah continue the growth of my channel I'm, i'll be looking to do a similar series uh with a big team uh in the fifa 16 uh early release and hopefully there'll be a bit of a successful one i may be doing manchester united again and maybe yeah have a bit of a return because uh, i did get fired they did fire me after coming fifth so yeah let's see if we can turn that around but yes, to, an to end the answer to that question, I think by the end of this year, uh, late December, I should have around 90,000 subscribers and be looking to push to 100 early in 2016. And next up here, I have a question from Matt Zorch. He asks, if you weren't doing YouTube, what would you be doing? This is a really, really good question because I honestly have no idea. Around the time when I started YouTube, um, like I said earlier, I'm back at uni right now, but if around that time I was kind of uh, struggling with studies and all of that, uh, I didn't have a job as well. So it was a interesting time for me, you know, and then I really wanted to get my YouTube going. So I definitely devoted time to that. You, if you want to get big, I suppose you can say on YouTube or at least get to a stage where you can do it full time. You don't have to be huge. Uh, 100,000 subscribers though is definitely a recommendation uh, to start doing it full time, but you don't need a million subscribers or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, that's what I mean. I wanted to devote my time, uh, upload daily consistent content and get to the stage where I am now. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I would have no idea what I'd be doing. I'd probably be working a job uh, that I don't really enjoy. And yeah, I wouldn't be doing what I enjoy. And now I am. And not just with YouTube. Uh, like I said earlier, what I'm studying and what I'm doing for work, it's all... Uh, come about let's say because of YouTube so yeah YouTube can provide a lot of opportunities for you even if you aren't a huge YouTuber and next up we have a question from Darren Chi Ong and he asks what inspired you to be a YouTuber and this one has remained the same this answer has remained the same for me since the very start and even before I've actually started YouTube I wanted to do something with my life uh, that I enjoy, that I loved doing. I didn't want to become one of those people that hates their job and does a job you don't really enjoy. You're just working the nine to five um, to get money pretty much. And for me, that's doing it for the money. Uh, people say the whole, yeah, discussion if, yeah, discussion if YouTubers do YouTube <laughs> for the money. Uh, I, I think YouTubers do YouTube uh, because they really enjoy it. Uh, people who go to work a job they don't enjoy do it for the money. Because, yeah, if they're not enjoying it, yeah, what are they doing it for? So you got to ask yourself that question as well. I said that on Twitter once as well. But, uh, yeah, that's what inspired me. And a few other things in my life to make my life really enjoyable and get paid for it. Just, yeah, do what I love and get paid for it. That's uh, one of the goals. And I had a few other goals, um, a few other things in my life. But, um, yeah, I didn't turn out to be successful in those. Uh, but YouTube is, yeah, stepping towards that way for me right now. And here's another good question from Wes Chambers. He asks, what other things should we expect from you in the future from your channel? So the biggest thing here for me to answer in this way is not really specific series, not series I haven't done before, nothing new. Uh, for me, it's just consistency, uh, being consistent with my videos, more uploads as well, especially of FIFA career mode. Yeah, probably yeah, that's the biggest thing from there, being a bit more consistent with my FIFA videos as my time allows me to, and more my channel grows, of course, uh, which will allow me to spend more time on that. So yeah, to answer that question, uh, more consistency with my FIFA videos, most definitely. Football manager-wise, I don't see too much changing unless I can really think of a good series to do. 
Next question is from the OP Ninja, and he asks, where do you see yourself in five years? Which is a real good question, but it's almost a question that makes me laugh as well. If you know the Family Guy episode where Peter, uh, he's in an interview, and he asks the same question, where do you see yourself in five years? And Peter's just like, don't say doing your wife, don't say doing your wife. And then he says, doing your son. <laughs> but anyway, back to the seriousness of the question. In five years, hopefully, I'll still be doing YouTube. And uh, definitely, I hope full time by then. I'm hoping next year uh, we can push on to that with FIFA 16 and FM 16 on this channel. And yeah, pushing on from there, you know, and I'll be living on my own, having my own house. Who knows? Yeah, if I have a family or something like that, it's probably not in my immediate concerns. Um, not in my immediate concerns, but yeah, more so, yeah, keep doing uh, YouTube and full time by that stage, uh, most definitely. And if I wasn't, yeah, I wouldn't probably still be doing YouTube. And like I said, uh, moved out from my parents' house, most definitely. Uh, because that's in five years, I'm going to be 29 and I'll answer. Yeah, I don't need to answer some questions uh, saying my age. A couple of people asked that, but I'm 24 for those of you that wanted to know. Uh, so yeah, I'll be 29 in five years, which is crazy because then that's for me like feeling officially old, like, you know, grown up. I still uh, like I still play video games uh, most days, you know, playing FIFA and Football Manager makes me still feel young. Like I'm not I wouldn't say avoiding growing up, but yeah, that's what I do for a part time job doing YouTube, you know, so it makes me feel a bit younger and not growing up, uh, which is pretty cool. But yeah, five years, that's like a big, yeah, big thing to think about, you know. Uh, so, uh, I'll be 29. That is crazy. <laughs> I, like, I can't believe that. I can't believe that, honestly. But yeah, next five years are going to be big to me in the whole scheme of things in my life. So, I'm going to end this here because that's where uh, the game ends. So, if you like this video, I'm not sure if it's too long for a QA. and a I was struggling to find relevant questions as well. A lot of them are on the, along the same lines, you know. So, hopefully enjoyed it anyway. I did win the match. Wasn't my best game, most definitely. I played, I did play poorly. I managed to get the win, and that was the team of the season, Harry Kane. I had Ronaldo on loan for a couple games. So, that's pretty much it. Hopefully enjoy the video. Drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time.